Using VirtualBox, we can network two or more virtual machines together. And we can do that using the virtual machine settings while the virtual machines are turned off. So we'll click on settings, and then we'll click on network. And then we see the type of network that it's attached to. So by default, it's going to be set to NAT, which is the perfect way to communicate out with the Internet. And it will use a DHCP server that's built into VirtualBox to give an IP address to the virtual machine when it boots up. However, if we want the virtual machines to just talk to each other, then we can hit the drop down and choose the internal network. Now we have the internal network. We want to make sure the cable is connected, but there's one other thing you also want to do, and that is the name. So we see the name is INTNet. So if this particular virtual machine uses INTNet, but the other virtual machine doesn't, it won't matter that you've got the internal network set. They still won't be able to talk to each other. It's like being on two different VLANs or virtual local area networks. So you want to make sure that both say internal network and both say INTNet. So if I click OK on that one, my cable is connected, and then I go and I check to make sure I've got the settings the same way on my other virtual machine, which I do, then I should be able to network these two together. So I'm going to boot them up and just confirm that they can talk back and forth with each other. I've booted up both virtual machines. And if we take a look at the Ethernet adapter for the LAN side, it says 192.168.0.1. Now I have a second adapter, which is pointed to 10.0.3.15. So that one's going out to the internet, whereas this one is internal. So if I go to my settings, I should see two networks. I've got the internal one I showed you earlier, and I've also got a NAT one for the external. So that way I can use this as a router if I want. Now I've also got on my other server 192.168.0.5. So these two are on the same subnet. So I should be able to open up files from one server to the other. So let's open up the file explorer on our router server. And if I type in the name or IP address of the other server, I should be able to gain access to those files. And there it is. So I have access to the sysfall and that log on shares. And I'm properly networking between the two. I can also ping from one to the other as well. Now, if you can't ping from one server to the other, but you know everything else is set up OK, then it likely means it's a firewall issue. So what I'll do is I'm going to go into Control Panel or on Windows Server 2016, but this works on any other version as well, including Server 2019. So we'll go down to where it says Windows Firewall, and then we're going to click on Advanced Settings, Inbound Rules, and I just have to make sure that I turn on the file and printer sharing echo request that allows ping to work. So I'll just enable any one of those that say echo request on them. And then I'll hit the up arrow and now I can ping it. So now we can communicate in both directions. So that's how you set up internal networking to communicate with each other on virtual machines running VirtualBox.